Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about getting the most out of your Universal Audio plugins, and we're going to be doing that by either committing to them in Pro Tools or freezing the plugins. And so before we get started, this really isn't a mix. I just took a song that I'm going to be working on, and I threw a bunch of tape plugins on them from Universal Audio. And I got a, a, a API 2500 on the mix bus. I've got a Fatso on my drum bus. And I'm up to about 88%. So if I was really mixing a song right now, I don't really have any room to throw a reverb on it or anything else that has to do with UAD plugins. So one way you could fix this problem would be to commit to the plugins that are on there. And basically that's like recording them down. These plugins will go away once that bounce process is over. You will have committed to that sound. Now I do recommend saving before you do that. The other thing you can do that you can also undo pretty easily is freeze these plugins. Now what's gonna happen when I freeze these plugins is that it's gonna print down these sounds and these plugins will kind of be made to look inactive but they're still gonna stay on my inserts here. So we'll just go through that and I'm gonna see you in about five minutes. Yeah, four minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, and so we are back. I have froze these plugins now. So everything here, they're still working. They're still on the actual tracks. They've just been baked in now. And if I want to, I can go and unfreeze. And so this is a little bit more flexible than commit. The only thing that's a little bit better about commit is that these inserts go away. If I remove this insert, it will take away the sound. So right now, the plugins have been frozen. The thing, one of the things I'm gonna show you is if you print to a bus, so I had all these tracks being sent to the bus. And if I mute the, all those tracks, nothing happens. And, and that's because this has been bounced down. It's been recorded into this track here where the all these tracks were sent to this track where they went through the fat so and then it came in and now these tracks have been printed basically they're recorded down and so that's my only warning about printing buses or anything like that that basically the tracks that are going into those buses you're done mixing them if you're going to bounce down a bus i wouldn't bounce down buses until you're ready to like print stems at the end of your mix or whatever but mostly these functions like the freeze and the commits function, the thing I would use those the most for would be individual tracks like these drums and whatnot. I wouldn't use them for buses. That really, that just prints down the sound and you're not able to use the individual tracks anymore. You just have that bus. So that's my only warning there. The other thing I'll say, so I have a quad core. I have an old Firewire satellite from Universal Audio. And so I can get a pretty good amount of plugins. Most of the time, I usually don't even go past 30% just because I usually use them mostly on buses for like mix bus compressors and tape saturators and things like that or reverbs. If you're mixing with a Universal Audio Solo or an Aero or whatever, you're probably going to get maybe, what, five to ten plugins, and then you're going to have to think about freezing or committing. Now, I've edited this video so you guys didn't have to sit there for five minutes and wait for the the freeze function to do its thing, but... If you're mixing these tracks and you're having to sit there and pause for five minutes at a time, every four or five tracks or whatever, you know, that probably would get pretty annoying. I don't think that's a great way to mix. I wouldn't recommend it. If you are really serious about getting into Universal Audio and using their plugins to mix, you're probably going to need something that has at least a quad core. They do have, I think, a Universal Apollo Twin. Now, all this stuff gets really expensive. I'm not telling you you have to go out and buy this stuff, but if you're going to mix with these plugins, which if you're going to buy this stuff, you might as well be able to mix with it. But if you're going to buy something like the Universal Solo or Arrow, this is a function you can use to make things a little bit easier and maybe stretch your DSP a little bit further. But honestly, I recommend getting like a quad at least, and uh, that'll get you into the mix game. That's one of the things I would say against Universal Audio. You need processing power. And so the Solo and the Arrow, all those things are kind of like a gateway drug into Universal Audio. They make great plugins. I have nothing against the company, but it does get expensive, so just beware. But if you have bought the stuff already or you've got a Solo or Arrow or whatever you have that doesn't have enough DSP, this is one of those tricks. You can either freeze or commit. I also know that in Logic they have a commit function. And if you guys are interested in seeing a video on that, uh, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll do one of those. Uh, that's going to do it for today. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you on the next one.